So I'm basically recording here um, part of a research that we did on the topic of the usage of flexible weapons uh, in HEMA. If you are basically in the first master of the baton, we see the um, the usage of a stick against overhead and underhead uh, stick at uh, knife attacks. And Fiora says that we can use also a cape or um, or a, a piece of rope, and then we can follow up the techniques from the six master of dagger or the eight master of dagger, depending if the attack is overhead or underhead. Now, it doesn't really sh tells us how we can use the rope or how we can basically use the cape. So we started doing so a bit of research. I recorded a video of uh, basically possible follow-ups and seeing how stuff uh, works. So the shorter the distance between the two hands, the stronger the snap of the belt is and it's better for you to do the defense. The first technique that we're going to show is uh, this arm from the Six Master Dagger where you basically use the leverage of your uh, dagger. In this case it's going to be a belt to twist and turn and the zombie weapon from the opponent. Now, this technique actually like um, works pretty fine. In the, in, in the video you're going to see that the rope is actually too far apart between two of my fists, so it should be one turn shorter. However, it's very simple, doesn't require any fine grain motion and it's um, a very uh, good technique to do. A follow-up on this one is going to be an outbreak. You should see it later in the video. You could do a hammer lock, like lower key, or you can turn sides sprung with legs being messed up, but you can turn it to tie the neck, go for the uh, for a takedown, throat or a strike or something. So here's the block, turning and shlek, the dagger goes away. I go for another angle and now we just pull it away. Same thing you do it with the dagger. And now the arm break as shown in the gladiatorial section. Basic block and strike. Basic uh, block, counter, and chokes. From simple to the most complex, require more uh, finger motion. Single handed choke, one hand holds, the other pulls. Kind of very effective. Uh, double handed choke with a wrap under, more effective, very good for a throw from this position. And now showing uh, image from Tahofer from dueling between a man and a woman, showing uh, one of the rare human examples of how to use a flexible weapon in a dueling situation. You see that she is holding the um, choke with one hand, right, to so wrap around his neck, and the other hand is basically like uh, pulling by the nose, scratching on his face, he's trying to protect his eyes and. Uh, he can't do much in this position. Chucks and flexible weapons are kind of hard, they require a little bit of um, fine grain motion, so harder than the uh, under, uh, to do under stress, but are effective um, when you have it because you have another element to do the chokes, same thing with the stick or a sword, right, or a dagger. And here is a close up of all the chokes, basic entrance, simple choke, knuckles in, <laughs> she doesn't like it. Then the uh, single handed uh, choke, always starting a strike, wrap, grip, and pull like on a dog leash. And now the complicated one with the over, over under, wrap, go down, and up. And here are some examples of chokes found in the flower of battle. This is a choke from the strut, uh, close place choke strut over the sword on the trachea. It's a very painful choke. Um, it can be done with a rondel, you can be done with the uh, edge of the wrist. Uh, basically, you, you crush it right here, you create a space between uh, your um, lower back and his back, and take the person down very well. We teach them our classes. It's quite effective, it does the submissions in MA. It's uh, pretty nice done. Uh, the next video is showing the same choke from the third master of dagger. Uh, it's done, this one is actually an air choke, uh, it's done with a throw. You can also take somebody down, 
the draw is extremely painful, it's extremely hard. Uh, we don't train it, we do it a couple times in demonstrations, seminars, but uh, we don't really nice to do it on your friends. Um, choke theory has basically two basic chokes, like the, the, the air choke with the under here, you use with weapons, so very easy to achieve with the dagger, with the stick, with um, you can do it with a uh, rope and his air choke, like in the third master, uh, so you find it also in the, the wounded scams and the other, like uh, furious traditions. Quite effective, requires a little bit of strength, can be better in the takedown, and uh, you can use it all the weapons. And the final example. Uh, another air choke, you have the weapon, you, you're not using it, it's, you can also be easily turned into um, a blood choke, um, like in the third master dagger, and uh, still see the space between the uh, two participants, which is necessary to basically create the void in which to take the person down, control him, disarm him, choke him, pull him, arrest him, or there. So, thank you very much for watching this video. This is part of research. We're not experts in belt combat, but we try to reconstruct the art of the Tsare. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.